Rais wa 45 wa Marekani amerejea tena katika uongozi. Anarudi madarakani kama rais wa 47 baada ya ushindi mkubwa katika uchaguzi wa Novemba 5. Donald Trump amemshinda Kamala Harris makamu wa rais anayeondoka katika uchaguzi huo. Ni ushindi unaoashiria mwelekeo mpya katika siasa za kimataifa na za Marekani. Hapa Kenya ushindi wa Trump umeibua mjadala kuhusu mabadiliko yanayoweza kutokea katika uhusiano wa Marekani na Kenya kuanzia biashara hadi uhusiano wa kidiplomasia. Hapo awali Trump alilenga sana siasa za kuiweka Marekani mbele kwa kile alichokitaja kama America First mara nyingi akipunguza msaada na ushirikiano wa Afrika. I try to look at Trump's administration between 2016 and 2020. If you're keen enough between 2017 and 2020, Trump had stringent measures on visas. So it was a little bit difficult for many citizens all over the world to get into the US trying to really minimize the number of immigrants who would probably find themselves in the US. Chances are that to protect American interest is likely also to tighten the visas to the US. Kwa Kenya uongozi mpya Marekani unaweza kuathiri ushirikiano unaoendelea kama makubaliano ya biashara, huduma za afya na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi. Kenya if you to look at our GDP and our economy, majority of our remittances in the Republic of Kenya comes from the US. Majority of our remittances come from the US. It means majority of Kenyans who are working in the US, doing business in the US, send a lot of cash over here. To some extent, this help in the economic activity and growing of our eco economy. So if you reduce the number of Kenyans who can probably access that market through probably non-tariff barriers and tariff barriers, most of our products will not find in the US. Mwaka huu Rais William Ruto alitembelea taifa la Marekani na kutia saini mikataba kadhaa na taifa hilo ila ujio wa Trump sasa umezua hofu ya kutupiliwa mbali kwa makubaliano hayo ikidaiwa kuwa dira na ajenda ya Trump ni tofauti na ile ya Biden na mataifa ya Afrika ikiwemo Kenya. My only worry is you know sometimes there are number of projects that you can secure as deals but uh, projects that may depend on political goodwill. And so therefore this one raises the question of now will there be political goodwill from the current the current president elect that is Donald Trump in a trying to accomplish some of these secure deals or could he probably change his mindset and say that this was not a priority so no need of executing this no need of implementing that therefore when looking at Kenya our interest is now specifically security Therefore the so-called mega mega infrastructural development the Nairobi uh, Nairobi Mombasa highway we can share it wakati huo huo kushindwa kwa Kamala Harris kumetamatisha safari yake ya kihistoria kama makamu wa kwanza wa rais mwanamke na Marekani mwenye asili ya Asia licha ya kampeni kali hakufanikiwa kupata kura zilizohitajika kutawazwa rais wa kwanza wa kike wa Marekani Brian Amwai K24